All right, guys, we are going to learn about cellular respiration now. So cellular respiration is basically the opposite process or the inverse process of photosynthesis. So you remember photosynthesis, okay, um, happens only in plants and other bacteria, single-celled bacteria. It does not happen in animals. Uh, conversely, cellular respiration um, happens in all living things, all living things, plants, animals, bacteria, every single organism needs cellular respiration. So respiration is the process by which cells obtain energy from glucose. Remember, cells can't use the energy of glucose. They have to break it down into other types of energy that they can use. If you remember, we talked about the uh, molecule ATP. ATP is the type of energy that they can use. Um, you have to remember that cellular respiration is different than the term respiration that we use for breathing. So cellular respiration is not breathing. Okay, it's a different type. It's chemical reactions that are going to break down glucose into ATP. So here is the equation for cellular respiration. We start with glucose. Okay, and this comes from the food that we eat or in plants, the food that they make through photosynthesis. Okay, and then we use oxygen, so the glucose and the oxygen combine, and the oxygen comes from the air or water that we obtain during breathing, and then some chemical reactions happen, and our products are going to be carbon dioxide, so that's why we exhale, when we exhale, we exhale carbon dioxide. Water, okay, water is also a um, product of this, and then ATP, this is the type of energy that the cell can use. If you look at this by comparison to photosynthesis, this is the opposite, essentially the opposite of the chemical equation for photosynthesis. So these guys in photosynthesis were over here, and these guys were over here, okay? So there are two stages of cellular respiration. The first one is called the Krebs cycle, and this happens in the cytoplasm of the cell. Remember, the cytoplasm is all that jelly-like substance that holds everything in place in the cell. And during the Krebs cycle, glucose, okay, that sugar molecule, is broken down into smaller molecules. We don't use oxygen during stage one. We'll use oxygen during stage two. We don't use oxygen during stage one, and when we do this cycle, only a little bit of ATP is made, not a lot. So we break our glucose into smaller molecules and make a little bit of energy using no oxygen. So this can happen without oxygen. Stage two, okay, is called the electron transport chain. This happens in the mitochondria, and this is the um, molecules from stage one are broken down even further by chemical reactions. So broken down even further by chemical reactions. So these little small molecules that were already broken down in the Krebs cycle are now broken down even further uh, by these chemical reactions. And these chemical reactions need oxygen. So if there is no oxygen, we can't have the electron transport chain. Okay, there's also a large release of energy at this point, the energy being ATP. So during the electron transport chain, we need oxygen and we make a lot of ATP. We also make carbon dioxide and water. And when we exhale, as animals, when we exhale, those are some things that leave our body when we exhale. So those are the two main cycles of cellular respiration. Also notice that we make carbon dioxide and water and those were used in photosynthesis. So plants have a nice little cycle that they can, whatever is made in cell respiration is used in photosynthesis, and whatever is made in photosynthesis is used in cell respiration. So they have a nice cycle. Um, fermentation, this is another type of cell respiration. This is when there's no oxygen, okay, we get fermentation. This provides energy for cells without using oxygen. A couple examples are alcoholic fermentation. This is yeast. So when we have bread that rises, when we bake it, that's from yeast. And yeast goes through alcoholic fermentation. They don't use oxygen, and that produces CO2, which makes our bread rise. The other type of fermentation is lactic acid fermentation. And this happens in your muscles. So when you've been working out really, really hard and you're short of breath, you're breathing really hard, 
okay? Um, basically, this lactic acid fermentation, because there's no oxygen when you're breathing really hard, you've run out of oxygen, and this lactic acid fermentation happens, and that lactic acid kind of burns your muscles. And so that's why you get a burn in your muscles after you have worked out, okay? Those, that lactic acid has built up, and it's stuck in your muscles. And we'll test that out a little bit. But yeah, fermentation is also a type of cellular respiration. The difference is that fermentation does not use oxygen, whereas cellular respiration, especially the second stage of cellular respiration, needs oxygen, will not happen without it. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Please write down any questions you have, and I will answer them tomorrow. Thanks.